I don't know how that they could be given charges uh, when he hasn't been charged with a crime yet. But tell that to Bo Bergdahl's fellow troops who risked their lives searching for him. The Pentagon just doubled down, as you just heard, saying Bo Bergdahl won't face desertion charges, so they don't know yet. Sergeant Jordan Vaughn served in the same company as Bergdahl and participated in over 50 search missions to find him. Sergeant, now retired, uh, thanks for joining us. How do you feel about the fact this investigation is still going on? Uh, it really seems like they're dragging their feet, Brian. I'm not sure why at this point. They've had plenty of time, five years to conduct this investigation, just missing an interview with, with Bergdahl. So, you know, it's, it's very frustrating. What happened for people just catch up to this story now? Uh, Bergdahl slipped out of OP Mest um, in 2009. Uh, we heard uh, LVI, which is low level voice intercept traffic, which just intercepts local radio and cell phone traffic. Um, just locals communicating there that uh, there was an American out in the night and he was looking for the Taliban. He was not seeking to rejoin um, his his comrades. And, uh, you know, then he turns up in Taliban control shortly afterwards. Mm -hmm. Long search. We diverted resources. We lost multiple good men. My squad leader was one of them. Um, he got and, killed? You Your know, squad leader got killed? For, my squad leader was killed in Afghanistan. What do you Correct. say to people who say there's no proof of that? Uh, I don't know what to say to them. That just angers me beyond words. You know, when they say wait until the report comes out to try and condemn him, we were there. You know, it's kind of like witnessing a murder and then, you know, you're one of the witnesses and they say, well, wait, wait till the trial. Well, no, I, I saw him kill the guy. I don't need to wait to the trial. I know what happened. You know, the Admiral uh, just told us, hey, what's the rush? The investigation takes time. We're going through it. What's your reaction to that? Uh, that does sound like the administration narrative, doesn't it? Um, he served with honor and distinction, according to them. So uh, he's saying he's an active duty soldier and he's innocent until proven guilty. That sounds great. But, uh, you know, we did lose actual soldiers, um, real soldiers who were quality, um, searching for this, you know, waste of oxygen. You know what? Uh, Mark Owen's first book uh, chronicles searches that special operators were doing. That means to go find him because they thought they had him. And he talked about how their commanding officers got shot. He had to take disability and a military dog uh, got killed in the big picture. You know, he still is part of the very small percentage that signed up to put the uniform like you on. He was captured and I believe tortured for five and a half years. What would you like to see happen? Uh, honestly, I, I want to see a guilty conviction for desertion. Uh, I know we did time, per se, with the Taliban. Um, the character of that time has yet to be established, you know, whether that was amicable or not. Um, so I, I really want to see a dishonorable discharge. I want to see benefits revoked, and I, I would just like, I would feel um, vindicated if that happened. Yeah, unfortunately, we're never going to get the five Taliban back. We're probably going to be back in the fight, uh, a fight that you guys were winning before uh, you went out. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate it. And for the admiral who wants to still put together the investigation, Jordan's available and has not been contacted. Sergeant Jordan, uh, Jordan Vaughn, thanks so much. No problem. Thank you, Brian.